Dear listeners, tonight I invite you to step into a dream world where healing tears hide mysteries and unparalleled adventures. Sit back, close your eyes, and let the story carry you away to a magical village full of secrets and sacrifices. The Witch's Tear, A Witch's Legacy Elena had always felt different. At seventeen, her magical abilities were only beginning to manifest and she was eager to learn more about her heritage. Growing up, she often heard whispers in the village about her family's mystical lineage, but details were scarce. Her parents, protective and cautious, shielded her from the full truth, hoping to allow her a semblance of a normal childhood. But Elena's curiosity was insatiable, especially as she felt the stirrings of magic within her, untrained and raw. One crisp autumn afternoon, while rummaging through the attic of her family's old cottage, Elena stumbled upon a dusty, ancient book hidden under a pile of forgotten knick-knacks and cobwebs. The attic, with its creaking wooden beams and the scent of aged wood, had always been a place of mystery and wonder for Elena. She had spent countless hours exploring its nooks and crannies, hoping to uncover secrets of her past. This day was different. The book she found was bound in worn leather, its cover embossed with strange symbols that seemed to glow faintly in the dim light. Her fingers trembled with excitement and trepidation as she opened it, revealing pages filled with spells and stories from generations of witches in her family. The handwriting varied from elegant and flowing to rough and hurried, each entry a window into the life of a witch who had come before her. As she turned the fragile pages, carefully tracing the faded ink with her fingers. One particular story caught her eye. The tale of her great-grandmother, Anastasia. The name was familiar. Her mother often spoke of Anastasia with a mixture of reverence and sorrow. Elena's pulse quickened as she began to read. Anastasia was a powerful witch known for her extraordinary healing abilities. The villagers revered her, and many traveled great distances to seek her help. According to the legend, Anastasia possessed a tear that could cure any ailment, even bring back the dead. This tear, however, was not easily obtained. As Elena delved deeper into the story, she learned that Anastasia had to endure great pain and sacrifice to produce just one drop. The process was described in agonizing detail. Anastasia would have to relive her most painful memories, drawing upon the deepest wells of her sorrow and despair. Each tear she produced drained a part of her life force, leaving her weaker and more fragile. The legend spoke of the tears' incredible power, but also of the great price Anastasia paid each time she used it. Elena's heart raced as she realized the significance of this discovery. If she could harness the power of this tear, she could help countless people. Her mind raced with possibilities. Curing the sick, mending broken hearts, even bringing the dead back to life. But at what cost? The thought of enduring such pain and sacrificing her own vitality was terrifying. She closed the book, her mind swirling with questions and doubts. 
Could she truly bear the burden that her great-grandmother had carried? Was she willing to make such sacrifices for the sake of others? The weight of her family's legacy pressed heavily upon her shoulders. Elena knew she needed guidance. Someone who could help her understand the true depth of her powers and the responsibilities that came with them. Her thoughts turned to her grandmother, Irina, the last remaining practitioner of magic in their family. Irina was a stern but loving figure, always protective of Elena and her burgeoning abilities. If anyone could help her unravel the mysteries of Anastasia's tear, it was Irina. Determined to find answers, Elena descended from the attic, the ancient book clutched tightly in her hands. She made her way to the small, cozy kitchen where her grandmother often sat, sipping herbal tea and gazing out the window at the forest beyond. The kitchen, with its warm, earthy tones and the comforting aroma of dried herbs, had always been a place of solace for Elena. Determined to find out more, Elena approached her grandmother, Irina, who still practiced magic in the village. Irina, a wise and experienced witch, was the matriarch of their family, respected by all who knew her. Her small cottage, nestled on the outskirts of the village, was a haven for those seeking knowledge and healing. The air inside was always filled with the rich aroma of drying herbs and the faint glow of enchanted candles. Elena approached Irina with trepidation, unsure of how her grandmother would react to her newfound curiosity. Irina was initially hesitant to reveal too much, her eyes clouded with memories of pain and loss. She knew the dangers of the path Elena wished to tread, and she had spent years protecting her granddaughter from the darker aspects of their magical legacy. But she also saw the determination in Elena's eyes, a reflection of her own youthful resolve. With a heavy sigh, Irina eventually relented. She led Elena to a small, hidden room at the back of the cottage, a place she had not entered in many years. The room was filled with ancient artifacts and relics, each holding a piece of their family's history. Irina picked up a small, ornate box from a dusty shelf and handed it to Elena. Inside was the precious vial containing the last tear Anastasia had ever shed. As Elena held the small crystal vial in her hands, she felt a surge of hope and fear. The vial was cool to the touch, its contents shimmering faintly in the dim light. This was the legacy of her great-grandmother, a woman who had endured unimaginable pain to create something so powerful. Elena's heart ached with the weight of the responsibility she was about to assume. Irina's voice was soft but firm as she began to tell Elena about the dark times their family had endured. She spoke of Anastasia, a woman revered for her healing abilities, but also cursed by the toll her gift took on her. Each tear Anastasia shed was a piece of her soul, a fragment of her life force. With every use, she grew weaker, her vitality ebbing away like the tide. The villagers saw her as a savior, but they could not comprehend the cost of her miracles. Anastasia was extraordinary, Irina said, her eyes glistening with unshed tears. But her gift was also a burden. Each tear she produced left her more fragile, more vulnerable. In the end, the toll was too much for her to bear. 
she passed away, leaving behind only this vial as a testament to her sacrifice. Elena listened intently, her resolve only growing stronger. She understood now the gravity of what she was asking, but she could not turn away. The power to heal, to save lives, was too important to ignore. She convinced Irina to show her how to invoke the tears' power, to teach her the rituals and incantations that would allow her to harness its magic. Irina warned her again of the dangers and sacrifices involved. This is not a power to be used lightly, she cautioned. Every tear will cost you a part of yourself. You must be wise and sparing in its use. The temptation to overextend your abilities will always be there, but you must resist. Remember what happened to Anastasia. Elena nodded, understanding the gravity of her grandmother's words. She knew she had to learn how to use this power wisely and sparingly. She needed to understand not only the mechanics of invoking the tears' magic, but also the emotional and physical toll it would take on her. Elena's training began in earnest, under the watchful eye of her grandmother, Irina. The lessons were intense and demanding, filled with ancient rituals and intricate spells that required not only precision, but a deep well of emotional strength. Irina emphasized the importance of focus and control, warning Elena that even the slightest mistake could have dire consequences. The process was grueling. Each night, Elena would retreat to the small clearing in the forest behind their cottage, a place where the magic in the air seemed almost tangible. She practiced tirelessly, often until the first light of dawn began to filter through the trees. Irina was always nearby, ready to offer guidance and support. But it was Elena who had to endure the trials. She learned that the tears were produced by channeling intense emotional pain and memories. The deeper the sorrow she tapped into, the more potent the tear would be. Elena's nights were filled with memories of loss and heartache. She recalled the death of her parents, the loneliness she felt growing up, and the fears that had haunted her for years. Each memory was like reopening an old wound, and the pain was almost unbearable. But she persevered, driven by the desire to master her abilities and help those in need. One evening, as she was practicing in the forest, she encountered a young boy named Luca, who was gravely ill. His parents had tried every known remedy, but nothing worked. They had heard whispers of Elena's training, and, in their desperation, sought her out. The sight of Luca, pale and weak, struck a chord in Elena's heart. She knew this was her chance to test her abilities and make a real difference. With a heavy heart, Elena began the ritual. She focused on the deepest sorrows of her life, drawing upon the well of pain that she had become so familiar with. As she recited the incantation, tears streamed down her face, each drop a testament to her anguish. The air around her seemed to hum with energy, and finally, a single tear fell into the vial she held. Exhausted and trembling, Elena administered the tear to Luca, praying it would work. The next morning, Luca was miraculously healed. The color had returned to his cheeks, and he was full of life and energy. His parents were overjoyed and 
word of the miraculous healing spread quickly through the village. The villagers rejoiced, hailing Elena as a hero. They marveled at her abilities and the extraordinary power she wielded. But despite the praise and gratitude, Elena felt the weight of the price she had paid. Her strength was sapped, and she felt an emptiness she couldn't describe. The ritual had taken more out of her than she had anticipated, leaving her feeling hollow and drained. She realized then that the warnings from Arena were not just cautionary tales, but the harsh reality of her gift. Each tear, each act of healing, came with a heavy cost. Irina reminded her that this was just the beginning. She spoke of the need for caution and the importance of using her gift sparingly. You must be mindful, Elena, she said, her voice gentle but firm. This power is a double-edged sword. It can do great good, but it can also destroy you if you are not careful. Elena nodded, understanding the gravity of her grandmother's words. She had seen firsthand the incredible potential of her abilities, but she also felt the toll it took on her body and spirit. She knew she had to be wise and deliberate in how she used her gift. The villagers' joy was a powerful motivator, but it could not overshadow the reality of the sacrifices she had to make. As she continued her training, Elena grew more attuned to the nuances of her magic. She learned to balance the emotional toll with the physical demands finding ways to replenish her strength and protect herself from the draining effects of the rituals. Irina taught her about herbs and potions that could help mitigate the exhaustion, and Elena incorporated these into her practice. Despite the challenges, Elena remained resolute. She understood that her path would not be easy, but the ability to heal and bring hope to others was worth the sacrifices she had to make. Each successful healing brought her closer to mastering her abilities, but it also served as a reminder of the delicate balance she had to maintain. Word of Elena's miraculous healing spread quickly through the village and beyond. People from neighboring villages began to flock to her, each bringing their own desperate pleas for help. Mothers with sick children, elderly couples with chronic ailments, and even young men and women struck down by sudden illness, all came to Elena, hoping for a miracle. Each time she performed the ritual, the sight of their relief and gratitude gave her the strength to continue. But with each tear shed, Elena grew weaker, the drain on her body and spirit becoming more pronounced. At first, the satisfaction of helping others outweighed the cost. She felt a profound sense of purpose knowing that her great-grandmother's legacy was being honored through her actions. But as the days turned into weeks, the demand became relentless. The emotional and physical toll on Elena was becoming unbearable. She found herself exhausted after each ritual, her vitality ebbing away bit by bit. The spark of life in her eyes dimmed, and she felt an increasing hollowness within her. One day, a wealthy merchant from a distant town approached her. His wife was dying, and he offered a fortune in exchange for a tear to save her. The money he promised could help not only Elena's family, but the entire village, 
providing much-needed resources and relief. Elena was torn. The prospect of such wealth was tempting, especially knowing how much good it could do. But she also knew that another tear would take more from her than she might have left to give. With a heavy heart, she turned to Arena for guidance. Her grandmother, ever the voice of wisdom and caution, saw the toll the magic was taking on Elena. Irina suggested that it might be time to find another way. You cannot continue like this, Elena, she said gently. The power you wield is immense, but so is the price you pay. There are other ways to help people, ways that won't destroy you in the process. Elena pondered her grandmother's words deeply. In a moment of clarity, she decided that sharing her knowledge might be the best path forward. She began to gather the villagers, teaching them the basics of healing magic and herbal remedies. She explained the properties of various plants, how to prepare potions, and the simple spells that could aid in healing. The villagers were eager to learn, and Elena was heartened by their enthusiasm and dedication. She formed a small coven, a group of individuals committed to helping others using more sustainable methods. Together, they studied the ancient texts, experimented with new techniques, and supported each other in their magical journeys. Elena still used her great-grandmother's tear when absolutely necessary, but now she had help. The coven grew stronger, and together they managed to heal many without depleting Elena's life force. Through this process, Elena discovered a new understanding of power. She learned that true power lay not just in her abilities, but in the willingness to share knowledge and work together. The strength of the community became her strength, and she realized that the burden did not have to be hers alone to bear. By empowering others, she multiplied the impact of her gift while preserving her own health and well-being. The villagers thrived under her guidance. They became adept at using the natural resources around them, creating remedies that could address many ailments. The coven became a symbol of hope and resilience, a testament to the power of collective effort and shared wisdom. Elena found herself less isolated surrounded by people who shared her passion for healing and who supported her in return. The vial of tears remained a powerful symbol, a reminder of the great price that had been paid and the sacrifices made. It was treated with reverence and used only when no other solution could be found. Elena ensured that every use of the tear was accompanied by a deep respect for its origins and the life force it represented. Elena continued her great-grandmother's legacy, not as a solitary witch, burdened by her gift, but as a leader of a community united in compassion and strength. The bonds she formed with the villagers and the members of her coven became her true source of power. Together, they faced the challenges of illness and suffering, each contributing their unique strengths and knowledge. In this way, Elena honored the memory of Anastasia, the witch whose tears held the power to heal. She transformed the legacy of sacrifice into one of shared responsibility and collective action. The story of her great-grandmother's tears was no longer just a tale of sorrow and loss, but a beacon of hope 
and unity for generations to come. Dear listeners, may your dreams be filled with wonder and your heart with courage. Good night, and may you sleep peacefully until we meet again for another enchanting adventure.